Hey guys, so as you can see from the title, it is review time, and I promised y'all I would review these products. Um, I used them in my latest uh, braid out video from like last week or something. So, okay, now I'm reviewing Ambrosia Hair Care, Hair and Body Care. I don't know what they are actually called, but here's the products right here. Okay, these are the ones that I've used. These are the ones that I purchased. And I've had these for about um, a month or so. Um, I got this, I got these um, when she had hair, not her first week open, but her second week open. It's a new line um, ran by um, a fellow uh, YouTuber here and whatnot. Okay, so um, let's start with the experience. Okay, so I ordered the um, detangler, the hair milk, and the hair cream, the souffle, uh, caramel styling souffle. And here's a picture of what my souffle looked like when it got to me. It was separated, okay? Now, um, messaged the owner, um, sent her the pictures or whatever, um, responded very quickly, and um, sent me out a new um, styling cream. The styling cream that she sent out to me was not preserved. I was then directed to keep it in the fridge um, so that it can last longer. And um, <clears throat> I don't know if I've gotten into this with y'all, but I don't really like keeping my um, stuff in the fridge um, just because my fridge is for food. So, um, and the whole keeping stuff in the fridge doesn't really compute with me because I feel like... It takes uh, most of, especially if it's coming from the East Coast or down South, three days to get to me. So um, by time it gets to me, it's a probably already it's probably already gone bad, just because it's been on the truck or in the in the um, post office for however long. Okay, so um, this was the first hair cream here. This is the one that I've been using. This is the one that I used in the video. Okay, um, I got a second hair cream. Here is it. Um, the one that is not preserved okay and as you can see there is something growing right there already and there's something growing in there so after I um, take after I take this video this one's going in the trash because it's no longer good and then I got a third replacement this past Thursday or Wednesday Thursday and here is this okay so this one is not separated so yay hallelujah thank you Jesus um yes okay so, um, yeah, um, overall the service was pretty good. sound cut out, but basically I was saying I got a bad taste, um, in my mouth from the owner. Just because, um, she came on YouTube, um, kind of whining <laughs> about people relaying their experiences on, um, a hair board that I frequent, which I did not, um, particularly care for. Um, I feel that as a business owner, <clears throat> you really need to learn to take the good with the bad and not um, not complain and feel personally attacked when people are just saying that your, your products that you're sending out are separated, okay? So I don't know if she'll ever see this video, but grow a thick skin because, yeah, this is competitive and... Not everybody's going to like your products, and um, if your product is not up to par, people are going to talk, because guess what? That's what people do. Okay, so review. Okay, so the um, Satin Curls Detangler, I think that's what it's called, but as you can see, the writing rubbed off. I don't like that, um, because honestly, I can't tell y'all what is in here. It literally is gone. Yeah, it's gone. But I'll leave the ingredients in the bottom or whatnot. Okay, so here is the... Cons oh, no! Here's the consistency, okay? It is um, thin, and as you can see, it's kind of falling, rolling down my hand. And looks like so, okay? Um, it doesn't really have a smell. Um... The owner said it smells like faint bananas, but I'm not I'm not really getting that. But hey, um, okay, so it's a leave-in, and um, that's really what I've used it for is a leave-in on wet hair. Um, as far as the detangler, it does give good slip. Um, it's 
it's on the higher end of the slip scale, if that makes sense. It's not, it's not like a, um, KBN slippy, slip, 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 but it is good slip, okay? Um, I can finger detangle with it in my hair. I believe in my braid out video, um, I did, like, pass my hand through my hair so you could see, um, that it, you know, it's, it's, it's good. Um, it is um, very moisturizing, okay? Um, I have it in my hair now as a um, leave-in underneath um, Curl Queen, okay? Um, Curl Junkie Curl Queen Gel. Um, my hair is uh, still wet, <laughs> but it, it is very soft to touch. There is hold from the gel, but it is very soft to touch. And um, I found that when I did use this, um, it plays well with a lot of other... Well, I've used this five times and I'm a little less than half okay um which is okay I guess um but I use it underneath the curl queen the um pink eagle styler um pink eagle styler uh Don Marie dream curling cream um with the souffle itself with something else I can't remember but if it usually if stuff plays well with eco styler it'll play well with everything else so this plays well with eco styler so yeah that's a huge plus um the moisture on it really good um for I think the longest I had for a wash and go um I didn't have to like really refresh, not refresh, I didn't have to really moisturize my hair um, for two days. I redid my hair on day three with the pink Eco Styler. And with Eco Styler, you know that's a big deal because Eco Styler is usually a gel that I have to really, really moisturize my hair really well or whatever. So yeah, um, I really do like this stuff and it's unfortunate because the owner really did leave a bad taste in my mouth with that crap, but um, this stuff is it's good stuff. It's a good it's a good um, leave in, and the the slip on it is nice. So good good product. Okay, um, the Ambrosia hair milk. Okay, here is what it looks like, and I've used this a multiple mult, multitude of times. And let me see if I can open it. Um, the pump for me it gives me a little bit of issues but hey okay here's what it is it's very thick very thick okay um it has a sweet kind of honey sugary buttercream frosting type smell to it and i really like really 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 like the smell of it um and yeah, okay, so um, usually the way I use hair milks are as moisturizers um, slash refreshers, um, maybe, and that's how I've been using this. Um, uh, for my braid out, um, I just rub this on my braids before I took them out just for extra moisture. Um, when I was wearing, I wore some mini braids for like two days because y'all know I'm ADD with my hair, right? Okay, um, I wore those for a couple days and I put this on in the morning after um, I took a shower and they were kind of um, misted with the shower water, the steam or whatever. Um, and yeah, um, I like this. I like this on wet or dry hair. Um, now, I couldn't use it as a leave-in um, because I find that um, it doesn't have a lot of slip. Or whatever so if you're going to use it as a leave-in for a um, like a wash and go like I know when I do my wash and goes so I have my sections and then I'll put my leave-in on and I'll kind of rake the leave-in in like for me this doesn't give any slip to be honest so this will be a leave-in on already um, detangled hair so I wouldn't have to kind of finger detangle with this okay um, the moisture on it is pretty darn good <laughs> um i i i do like this stuff um it it's very smooth going on um and my hair it instantly instantly moist like literally like i like my mini braids i rubbed them in i rubbed it in and i felt my hair and my hair instantly felt soft so for me that's when i know something is like good really good moisturizer a really good moisturizer when i put it on and 
like that my hair fell soft even my hands like right now feel so soft from rubbing this on so good stuff um, ingredients aloe vera juice herbal infusion of distilled water honey bush rubios Hmm. Uh, horsetail coconut milk, um, shea butter, mango butter, glycerin, BTMS, hemp seed oil, um, olive oil, soy leucin, phenoxenol, and caprylglycol, which is a preservative, and the fragrance. Okay, so good stuff. Okay, now for um, the caramel souffle, which I have three three jars of. Okay, so let me take let me show y'all the jar that I've been using. Um, so here's what it looks like, and you see the um, oil that's been separate that has been separated out. Here is my latest jar here. So um, let's just use the latest jar for the um, texture comparison, just because I did have to um, with the separated jar. I had to re-whip it, okay, and keep it in a very cool place, which is my back closet or whatever, just so it won't um, get as liquefied as you saw in the picture, okay. So, um, if you did order from her and you do have a separated product and you do still want to use it, just re-whip it and keep it in a cool place and it's, it's fine. I didn't have a problem with it. Okay, so here's what it looks like. Here is the texture. Okay. It's very thick. Okay, it's thick but wet. Which is interesting. Um, I found that this is a little bit thicker than the other one I have. This, the first one I have is a little wetter than the second one, but neither here nor there. Okay, so here's what it looks like after it's rubbed or whatnot. So it does come out to be um, kind of um, an oil or so. See the shine that's on my hands with it. Um, the ingredients are aloe vera juice, uh, shea butter, avocado butter, Brazil nut butter, coconut oil, Olive oil, raw honey, jojoba oil, soy, leithsin, leithsin, xanthan gum, phenoxenol, caprylglycol, vitamin E, and fragrance. Okay, and she totes this as her styling cream, and um, yeah, I, I mean I can see that. Um, it's not so butter heavy where you can't use it, um, cause I know for me, butters on wet hair are no bueno. Okay, um, it takes days, months, weeks for it to seep in. I have to use butters on, if my hair is going to be wet, it needs to be like damp, wet, like almost dry, wet. Okay, so um, this stuff, well this jar, I haven't used this jar yet, but it goes on so smooth on my wet hair, like super smooth, which was kind of weird for me because usually butter heavy things don't go on as smooth okay and because it went on so smooth I was like um, okay well I'm just gonna do a very fluffy fluffy wash and go fro okay which is where I use like a um, thicker butterier styling cream type thing like um, a curl junkie cocoa coffee curl cream or whatever something that effect where and just do a curls in a bottle on top so I use this for um, a fluffy fro and I put it on my wet hair I used the leave-in and then I put this on my wet hair and it just went on so smooth which was <laughs> really awesome for me um, it didn't it took a little bit of time for it to seep in um, but my hair, I believe that I am um, on the lower end of porosity, so things usually um, do take a while to kind of sleep in my hair, especially if they are heavier, and this does have a good amount of butters in there. Um, so yeah, um, I, did, I did that, plus a little bit of curls and bottles on top. Now this is not a defining um, product, meaning, um, for me, and y'all see my hair wet, like my hair, it's not gonna, my hair doesn't clump together, my hair doesn't say, oh, let's be curly, okay, I need to have um, a gel or something with some um, clumping agents in it for my hair to clump, okay? So if you're looking for a defining type product, this is not the product for you, but as a moisturizing buttery product, I found that this is pretty, pretty nice. Um, 
it works well in wet hair. Um, your hair stays soft for a braid out. Um, my braid, I did my braids, my mini braids, and then a braid out with this, and I did a twist out um, beginning of last week or something. So um, my hair feels soft. My hair does have a tad bit of definition, like a tad bit of hold to it, but it's not like you're using a gel product on your hair to get um, crazy definition. So like where you, um, like where I did my twist or whatever, like I did, I used this, did my twist, and like the definition was there, but by the end of the day, um, it was practically a fluffy fro. So if that gives you an idea to the amount of holding power this has, that's the kind of holding power it has for me. Um, and our, our dues out here have been um, around 40, 50, so it's not like crazy high dues out here or anything. So yeah, that's the holding power for me. But overall, it's a it's a nice product. I do like this stuff. Um, I have two, one and a half jars of it now. The third jar I do have to get rid of because it's spoiled. But yeah, so um, overall, this is a pretty nice product line um would I purchase again the stuff is nice um so would I purchase again based on how the stuff works on my hair yeah the stuff is nice um her prices aren't crazy um or whatnot um, I, I'm gonna wait a little bit because this is the first time, um, that I'm actually purchasing stuff, that I actually bought stuff from a brand spanking new company. So, um, which I have no issue doing because if your ingredients look good I could, and your price is right, I could really care less how long you've been around, okay? Um, but, I don't know, um, her actions kind of put me off a bit. So, um, I'll probably purchase during a sale. Yeah. I, I mean, I, it's good stuff. I, I, this detangler is really nice, and the hair milk is really nice. And I'm like a hair milk fiend. So, yeah. That's that's my thing. I mean, I have leave-ins that I love, so the leave-in isn't, like, crazy. But, like, um, the, the hair milk is pretty awesome. But, yeah, i purchase again, um, probably on a sale, um or whatnot and I hope the owner um, toughens up and uh, realizes that um, your actions the way you handle um, the good and the bad speak volumes <laughs> to your customers so um, yeah alright guys so that's my review and I shall talk to you all later bye